before we start working on a logic, how we're going to be rendering all the featured rooms, we will going to use two components, one by the name of loading and the second one by the name of room. And as a side note, like I said, both of these components we will going to reuse in different parts of the application as well. Let's say, for example, room is going to be rendered also when we are rendering all the rooms, not just for the featured one. So what's going to happen right now is we're just going to set up the bare bones for rooms application where there's just going to be one text. Then I'm going to render the rooms that are in the featured rooms, and then we're going to work in the actual rooms component all together. OK, now for the moment, I just want to create the bare bones for uh, rooms component and set up the loading component. First and foremost, let's call this loading JS. And for that, this will be a just a basic functional component RFC. Then what we would want to pass nothing as a prop, but we would want to have a div by the name. And we're going to give this a loading. That is something that I already set up within my CSS. We might as well have a heading four. Let's write rooms, data, loading, dot, dot, dot. And then I would want to import one of my GIFs. You can go with uh, gears if you want, because I have two of them. Basically, I have gears and I have the other one was the arrow. I think I'm going to go with the arrow. So if we're going to head over to the source, if you'll notice the images within the GIF, I don't know whether you can see that, but basically I have one of them, which is an arrow and the second one, which is a gear. So this is really up to you which one you would like. I think I'm going to go with an arrow. So I would want to import that. So I'm going to say import. I'm going to name this loading uh, GIF like so. And then from and now we're obviously looking for my images. So I'm going to say not data. We're going to go for the components. No, not components. Images, then GIF. And then we're working with the name is loading and arrow arrow and then the extension is jeff and then right after the heading four we're going to have the image then for the image we're going to use loading loading and we're going to call this jeff then for alternative i don't know we can just skip this i don't think this is going to be uh, doing a bunch of bad things if we're just going to skip alt all together then i would want to import that in my featured rooms so import um let's call this loading of course loading from and dot and we have obviously the loading component and instead of just looking for the rooms right after the ending text you can just say loading and let's check it out whether our gif is going to be working let's save that and all the way in the bottom notice this is going to be my loading gif if you're interested again in the css same old spiel. The difference would be that this class will be in my globals because, like I said, I will going to reuse it one more time. So, only thing I did is text capitalize, line center, and margin top. Once three, that's all what happened here. You can close the app CSS. And, like I said, I would want to create a room, which at the moment we're just going to have some dumb text like hello from room, but then starting from not next video, next video, we're going to set up the functionality in the featured rooms. But then one after that, we're going to actually work on the rooms component. And at the moment, this will be a simple functional component, RFC. We're going to call this room and let's just go hello from room. Let's save that as well. We can close at the moment. Then we can close loading. We don't need it anymore. As well as for the time being, context is also not needed. Let's close the sidebar right after the loading. Why don't we get the rooms? Let's call this room or not rooms. Yeah, room from and we're going to go with uh, obviously my component by the name of room just so I can see that everything is being rendered properly. And let's say right before loading, I would go with a room component that I currently have. Let's save that. And I do see my little hello from room right after the feature room. So I know that I successfully created both of these components. Well, one of them completely and the other one just has the bare bones. And now I can start working with displaying all the featured rooms that I have in my application.